What's going on, family? So I got a quick word for those of you guys that are getting kind of weary when it comes to the spiritual battle. I myself get there sometimes and, you know, everybody that's on this walk will inevitably get there at times because this spiritual battle does get very difficult. So I was going through some things yesterday and I ended up sending a text message to somebody I just met that is a spirit filled believer as well. And the Lord wanted me to give that to you guys as well. Somebody out there that, that maybe needs to hear this. So I'm going to just read the text message, all right? The Lord told me last month as I was resting, and what I mean by resting is I spent like nine days doing absolutely nothing, that the month of March would be huge, but it will be contingent on how I press in the spirit. He led me to fast for the first three days of this month, and now I know it was for the warfare that was coming to try to stop what he is doing. I had a tough day today as well. And I felt defeated. But what made me get back up and start going as hard as possible was God saying, he is raising up warriors. That's you and I, right? If in fact we are to be warriors, we have to win battles, which means we have to fight. If you are called to fight, that means you will be facing opposition. And since we serve God, our opponents are spiritual. You cannot see them with the naked eye, but you can in spirit. And I hope this is making sense. The intensity that you are feeling is spiritual warfare, trying to get you to leave the calling. But if you fight by pushing through it, make sure you stay in God's presence though, because you can't do it without him, you will prosper. Now, I pray that bless somebody out there today because it was so on point with her. I would love to read her reply, but I'm not going to for the sake of God not telling me to in this video. But I know that a lot of you guys can resonate with that message. God had given me that message in particular because for one, he wants to give you some insight on the battle, right? Before you have to walk into it. There's reasons for that. A few reasons. So you know that he is who he is, right? You know that he's speaking to you. You know that you know his voice because he gave you an introduction, right? Or he gave you some foresight on what it is that you were about to experience. But for two, it's to let you know, like, look, I got your back. I am the Lord, your God, I got your back. You're about to be facing some demons, right? You're about to be facing some opposition. And I'm letting you know ahead of time that that opposition cannot overtake you if you are in me, if you stay in me, meaning if you are worshiping in spirit and in truth, you will be the opposition. The Bible says that no weapon formed against you will prosper. That is an indication that there's going to be weapons formed against you. But staying with the true vine, right? So staying with Jesus Christ, those weapons will not prosper, family. So if you are feeling wary, or if you're getting wary in well-doing, stay the course. Stay the course. Do not let the enemy psych you out or walk you out of your calling. Take heed. You are a warrior in Christ. If you feel like you've been called to be a warrior in Christ, that means you're going to fight some battles. Every warrior, period. If you look into the army, you find warriors in the army. They fight battles. Every warrior. It doesn't matter who you are or what... what sense of the term of a warrior you are right you're gonna have to fight some opposition you're gonna have some opposing enemies if you are a warrior in christ that means your opposing enemies are going to be spiritual enemies principalities in high places so to speak right so you fight in spirit okay and a lot of times if you overcome when you're in your tired state right so like what i mean by tired state is your spirit is getting tired you you've been fighting you've been fighting you've been fighting and you just feel like the, the the battles never end when you're in that state and you continue to press through that's when a tremendous amount of breakthrough comes tremendous amount of breakthrough the reason why the pressure is so high is because the enemy knows that there's breakthrough around the corner and he's trying to prevent you from walking into it so family if i could just give you a little bit of encouragement today and i pray to just bless you stay the course do not get wary in well doing because if you stay the course and if you faint not, you will reap a harvest from what it is that you've been planting. I pray that I bless you. Mighty name of Jesus.